Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Looter, a mod designed to save servers and also maybe even make single player a little bit nicer. As you can see before me, I have what appear to be a couple of decorative loot chests. In fact, I've got multiples. Now, these are actually vanilla chests, and this is what Looter does. I'm at the bottom of a desert shrine at the moment. Yes, I disabled the stuff underneath. No, no need to worry about that. But what Looter does is it actually creates instanced loot. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you're on a server, somebody comes in and busts into the, this temple and starts looting all the stuff in these chests, takes everything, and then leaves. And then you come in here, and then you're like, oh my gosh, this place has already been looted. I might as well go somewhere else. And so then you're just going to generate a whole bunch more chunks, and you're going to create more lag on a server, and then you're going to find out that someone else has looted the next temple that you went to. Well, this, this eliminates that. This means that there is instanced loot, loot that is here for just you and you alone. Uh, if you're familiar with an ender chest, it's something similar to that, whereas you open an ender chest and you'll have your access to it, someone else does not. It's kind of like that, but it's more or less just this is going to be your loot. Someone else might get something different in this chest altogether. And therefore, as long as it hasn't been broken and harnessed, it should still be pretty much good to go. So if someone comes in, grabs all the stuff, leaves the chest here, you come in, you find that this temple's been opened, the, 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 the blocks up here have been mined, it doesn't mean that there's no loot anymore. It now means that there's a chance that there might be some loot here. Now, there are two different colors. You notice here, uh, if, if you're not colorblind, you probably just notice that there is at least like a big gem on the top here. Uh, and, you know, there there is no gem here. What this means with the gem on top and the uh, kind of purplish bluish textures is that this is one that has already been opened. This, on the other hand, is one that has not been opened. And therefore, once you open it or well, once you click on it and watch this, and you'll see that I've got the loot in here and the chest is you can still see like a goldish outline when it when it's done it changes colors and therefore it has been looted by you now this will not appear for someone else someone else will still see them like this on their end so it's kind of it, it's kind of cool like that how you can actually still get all the loot that you really want in the chest and like in the nether other places like that e even mine carts and stuff this is really, really good. I think every modded Minecraft mod pack should probably have Looter in it, personally, <laughs> if anybody ever plans on playing on a server. Now, in single player, what good is it? Well, at the very least, it's going to tell you if you've opened the chest or not. So you don't always have to chop the chest up. You can always leave stuff in here. And yes, even if you leave stuff in here, like I'm, I'm taking out the golden apple and I leave the rest of this in here, this stuff stays there and nobody else can get to it until you take it out or you break the chest. Now, what happens when you try breaking the chest? Well, well let's try on this one here. All right, I'm going to try breaking the chest and it says, breaking the chest will delete your unique loot and items. In order to break, you must sneak while doing so. As, as loot is per player per chest, only break if really needed. So therefore, I can keep trying to break this. It's not actually going to break. You have to do a sneak. Actually, let me get rid of this stuff on the screen. You have to do a sneak and break it, and then it will break. And yes, it, it just reverts to a regular vanilla Minecraft chest. Yep. And now you can see that it's being a regular vanilla chest. So if you uh, basically make vanilla chests, they will still look like this. This just means that these are regular spawned in world loot ones. Now, this should work with a lot of modded content doesn't necessarily mean that it will work with all modded content. I mean, uh, Newbie, the, uh, the, guy, the, the dev who's made you know this mod, can't get everything compatible, but uh, it therefore has made a very, very valiant effort to make a very large portion of them. So, And this is uh, currently on modern versions. It's been around since 112 as well. Uh, and if you don't see them like this, they may show up like your standard vanilla chest. If for some reason there is a glitch or some other mod or something like that, some of the modded chests, if they do not work, will still render and act, uh, you know, appear in the world normally like they normally would. Uh, now I realize this is a very small area. Let me uh, kind of get out of here. Just to give an example of some of the things that this could potentially work on, here we have buried treasure. I'm in spectator mode underground, and you can see that it is here. 
Here we are in a modded area where I'm in a mana and artifice generated building in a heavily modified uh, world that you can see and a looter chest has appeared here in one of the structures. Yes, and it also has stuff from the mod mana and artifice in it, which this is a mana and artifice structure. As you can see, it is now said that I have therefore opened this chest. It's not saying that there's anything wrong with it. You can still access it and everything like that, but hey, it's really, really fantastic. And there you have it, a really brief introduction, just a little something showing you uh, this wonderful little mod. It's just a little bit by bit, if you will. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, you know the usual stuff. Be sure to come visit us on Twitch and help us spread the mischief. And uh, until next time, folks, I'll see ya. Bye.